so I am an hour away from Dragonstone. I'm like an hour early, so I'm trying to just waste time. So I'm here getting gas. I was trying to look for somewhere to eat, but there's like nothing. nothing. This is what I got. This is I'm I'm trying this whole like vegan thing because of freaking Gabby and uh, Alyssa, and so I got mindful chicken. It's vegan chicken, so let's see if I like it. I like my favorite place in the world. I talk about them all the time because it's like my favorite place to go to. Um, I'm gonna have to pause like a million times because she's got like 60 million freaking gates to go through. Turn left. Then arrive at your destination. Okay, gate is opening. We got these guys. Hello, baby. And I gotta go back here um, to this gate. I gotta put in the code over here, so. Okay, and opened up this gate. She's got these babies. Oh. like massive enclosure back here for the lemurs look at that big huge dome uh -huh, it makes me so happy oh the giraffes let's go see them i don't see the lemurs out today look at so we got baby giraffes oh my god they've gotten so big Let's go and find where she is. I don't know where the lemurs are. They might be up today because there's a bunch of construction workers. So they might be up. Hi, honey. Excuse me. Excuse me, baby. Can you get out of the road? Okay. I guess I'm just going to park here because these babies are just in the road. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, you look like you want to bite my fucking face off. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. Hi, you boy. I hate it. Yeah, I think it's the Yeah, it should be darker. Oh my goodness. Hi, with your yellow dog nose. Don't bite my shirt. Don't worry. We even soon. We even show you what I am what? Yeah, I know. We're going to get the kangaroos in. The wallaby, actually. See, it's a wallaby. It's a wallaby. Hiya! We're going to go for a car ride? We're going to go? You want to come with me? <laughs> <laughs> You're so freaking cute. Uh, we hear you. Don't worry, Pooh. Hi, I got everything. Cool. Hi, babes. We got your stuffy. We got you stupids. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's definitely not feeding time, but little, little freaking Cody baby is having a heart attack. So maybe if I make like half a bottle, the Cody will, she won't, he, he, she, I haven't even looked yet. Let me look. It's a little girl. Of course it's a little girl. Um, she wants me to like, she wants to suffocate in my neck, which is fine, but then she has a panic attack, and wants to like get in my ears and pull out my hair. Sam's so freaking cute. Actually, I just noticed she gave me this. So I am going to give just a tiny little bit. Hey, baby, we, we hear you, but you're not the only ones in, you know. Hi, what are you doing? Where's the hedgehog? The hedgehog, I'm going to show you at nighttime. 
because it is sleep. Well, hello. You want some? I got stuff for you. Okay. The the Cody is literally just walking in the food. So that was a no. That was a no. Get 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 get. That was that was a fail. So let's close that back up. <laughs> and I'm gonna make the baby a bottle. Okay, 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 okay. But after the babies, you have to go to night. Okay? After your babies. You promised? <laughs> Covered in fish. To tractor supply, I called them. They're gonna have someone help me set up a crate. Because the wallaby keeps jumping out of the pouch and he's getting terrified and it's just no bueno. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna get a crate. They're gonna help me set it up because it's 105 degrees outside. So I cannot leave the baby, the baby's in the car. So when I pull up, they're super excited. So when I pull up, they're gonna help me. So if his little stinking butt jumps out, at least he'll be inside the crate and then he can just jump back into his pouch. Little freaking bugger. Um, hmm. I think the one on the end. This one? Yeah. The medium. Okay, like, oh my god, they're so amazing. They're putting it together. This little sticker. There we go. I have to hold it shut. Do you want to go ahead and put him in here while she, while he finishes connecting it, or? You get call just, me a she, it's fine. I didn't mean to call you a she. No, it's fine, take it. <laughs> um... I've got the, I've got the door, on. door on it. So. I wonder if we should put like a cup. I'm trying to think how we're going to hang it. I don't think it has like little clips. All right, little Scappy, we fixed you up. So now you can't, if you jump out, you're in there. Okay. Um, I just stopped to get gas and feed the little wallaby. But, uh, finally got the Cody to go to sleep. I don't know. Oh, shit. Never mind. Oh, my God. I can't go in the freaking gas station with my hood on backwards. Let's see. But do you think we can see the Cody? Hang on. Okay, let's see. Let's see. even see big. You're so bad. You're so bad. Be sure it's all you're a see Ben. See where are you? <gasps> Hi Poop. Like I'm asleep. Hello. What are you doing under there? So I'm sleeping lady. Okay. <laughs> Can I see your little face? Hello Poop. Hello. Feed the little Roo baby. Say hi yo. You ready? You want some more? Want some more? Oh, is that good? I just fed the um the little Roo baby the rest of um its bottle. I keep saying kangaroo wallaby baby. And this little girl just acts like she's freaking starving to death. Because you're so hungry. You starving? You starving? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. feet down. There we go. And she likes her bottle so warm. Okay. Mama, you 
gonna take you with the room either. Oh, good lord. So, this this little baby just peeked his head through and he's got poop all over his nose. So, I pulled over immediately because now we got to clean him. And I also have to check up on the little um, hedgehog and give it some food and water. The little Roo Roo baby, the wa wallaby, is good. Good to go. It's dark. It's like 9 o'clock. So, check up on this little baby. Hello! Hi, little pooter! What are you doing? Are we going to give you some food and water? Are we? Are we? It's like, hello. <laughs> God, can you see? Hi, look at that, your face! Look at that, your face! Being in this tiny, itty bitty little space makes me appreciate my van so much more. Hey, you! Poop face. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Did you get it? Did you get full of poop pins? Did you get full of poop pins? Where'd it go? I don't care. You. You stinker. I don't care. We gotta wash your hands. Don't you fight me. Don't you fight me. You got poop it on your hands. How come you do that? I know. Life sucks. Life sucks because I'm cleaning you. I know it. I know it. Little stinker. Okay, I'm getting it. But one thing at a time. You just made a whole mess in. Poop. Please go to night. Stinker. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Go sleeping. Yes. No, don't pull up my shirt. Oh, my God. You stuck a stuck butt. Stuck a butt. But you're so cute. I can't say no. You're grubbing on what? My boobs? My boobs? I don't have nothing. Oh my god, this is how her sleeping's going. She is obsessed with pulling up my shirt. Moms, we gotta go tonight. You cannot go down there. You're too yiddle. You're too yiddle. Hey guys, so I just woke up. It is 5.30. I have to do a pickup at 7.30. Um, I'm picking up a dog that I'm only taking from Mississippi to Alabama. Still got these babies. Um, everyone's doing great. You can kind of see the hedgehog walking around. Can you see it right there? <laughs> um, oh my God, my face. <laughs> uh, girl problems. Anyways, I, I always say Rue baby. It's just, I can't help it sleeping passed out and then we got stinker butt she is also passed out now of course because it's morning time i'm gonna go and heat up her bottle I have to heat up their bottles but i came into the bathroom just to like kind of wash them off and wash the inside before i put them in the gas station right away i got soap on my hands though this freaking stinker is sleeping but she needs to get her little stinking butt up so I can give her her bubba's. Oh, good morning. Oh, look at your Yoshi face. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what 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 you got you? Oh,
She likes her bottles so warm. I also got her something else. I got a message that um, the ranch to make sure that she's allowed to have it. So I got her some eggs. I don't know if she's too little for eggs. Somebody actually asked me, um, they said, you know, how I had to buy the um, Wallaby a crate. And they asked me, do I get reimbursed for things that I buy these babies? I do get reimbursed like this crate because it was a necessity. Like all these little extra things that I buy these babies, like eggs, it's not a necessity. You know, oh my God, your belly is so full. Little things like eggs and all the little toys that I buy and all that kind of stuff. No, that comes out of my pocket. I buy all that extra stuff for these babies. It's not a necessity. I just like them to be really comfy. See, we are on the road. We gotta get back on the road. Wiggle butts. I should never have woke her up. She was sleeping so good. Let's see what she thinks of the eggs. No, I have to ask her parents first. I mean the ranch first. But she can have eggs before I do that. I've never transported a hedgehog before. And it kind of makes me nervous that they're in these bins, but they got all these like drilled holes. Can we see them? Like all the way around. Hi, Pooh. So I'm gonna make sure this baby has some water. I know, I know. Some water, come here. What have you? Let's get you a new bowl. I know. Snicker boodle. <laughs> give this baby a little bit more food. I didn't give him a whole lot last night because I wasn't sure how much he ate. Oh, good morning. Cute stuff with your little face in. All that little fussing and hollering and all that kind of good stuff that you're doing. And I'm just trying to do you some good by giving you some water. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Now you feel bad about being so mean to me? Oh, I see. See how nice I is? I know. Yeah, she has a nice girl. All that hooting and hollering and hissing and trying to stab me to death. It doesn't make no sense. Because I'm kind of resentless. See? How nice that feels. Oh, I just feel so nice. See? I's a nice lady. trying to stab me all night oh lord do you hear me shaking up your bubbles i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i promise Let's see if the cody likes eggs <laughs> i called the mommy and she said yes you can have some you want to try some you want to try some eggs you don't want to try none snippy snippy snipping so he's been getting out and going potty out of the uh, out of the pouch, which makes me happy. Oh, he's gonna go back in. No. <laughs> All right, I'm so sad because I am an hour and a half away from dropping off the little Cody baby. Um, so I'm actually supposed to feed her one last time before she got there, but it's like an hour before I got there. So I'm going to kind of like play it out a little bit, um, because right now she's sleeping, but if she, she'll let you know, like she'll start screaming and everything when it's time to eat. So, or when she's hungry. So if she starts screaming and hollering and all that kind of good stuff and, um, before I get there in that hour and a half, I'll stop and feed her. But if not, then I will just go ahead and bring her home and then they can feed her when she gets home. And then after that, I'll be an hour away from dropping off the hedgehog, South Carolina. And then I take the little wallaby baby up to New Jersey. So I should be in New Jersey. It's like, um, it will be about seven o'clock when I drop off the uh, last baby. So I should be to New Jersey like tomorrow around noon. See, she's like 
freaking clockwork. We have 40 minutes and she is going to have a heart attack over her bubba's. So I'm probably going to have to pull over and feed her. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, mama. I feed you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Because you're starving. I'm only like 30 minutes over. No. It's just not happening. Told you. I'm so sorry. Whoa. I'm so sorry. I had to stop recording. I did deliver the little Cody and the hedgehog. Um, it was it was storming so bad I couldn't see nothing. And I was just at that point I was like, I just want to get everyone home. But I still have that baby that will be home in the morning. So I'm in South Carolina. I mean not the morning, afternoon. Now I'm driving to New Jersey, but I'm going to have to pull over and sleep because I didn't get none last night. All right, he's been jumping out a lot, so I hung his little trees there. I put a little pee-pee pad. Oh. So I put his little food there with a the little pee-pee pad and then hung his little trees. All of his little bushes are still back there, the ones that kind of fell off. What do you think? It's like a little forest. What do you think, huh? Huh, bud? Want to come out? He keeps pottying in his bag. I'm sure it's just soaked. I keep pottying him and he just keeps peeing in his bag because it stinks. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I will be home tomorrow morning. Okay, so I just have this baby left. I got. Oh! Oh my God, I just feel so nasty. I want to go home. Um, ooh, they found my luggage. They lost it. Then they found it. Then they lost it again. And then they found it again and accidentally put it on the wrong airline. I just, I, I cannot. Anyways, I was really trying to get this baby home before um, they had to leave the farm that I'm taking it to because they had to leave between like 2.30 and 4 30 but this rain is kicking my butt so my arrival time says that i'm gonna get there at 1 36 that's not gonna happen i still have to clean this baby's crate and i have to hi poop um i still have to bottle her she takes a really long time to bottle i have to find somewhere with a microwave um you know so i can heat up her bottle and everything like that um, yes, I'm wearing this sweater. I just put it on because there's all this fluff from this blanket. Uh, cause it's the only sweater I have and it's cold outside. And so I got to keep putting it back on. I feel so disgusting. I'm going to have to change my little outfit. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to have to let them know that I'm, cause I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to feel like pressured. You know, that's the worst thing you can do as a transporter is let somebody rush you especially it's raining um maryland is one of those places that is where i see some of the worst wrecks i've ever seen in my entire life so i am i'm, I'm going up through new york anything can happen going through new york it literally can change just like that you make one wrong turn and it's like adding 45 minutes it's stupid so i don't normally drink these. I don't really like these, but that's all I could find. What you eating, baby cakes? Okay. Got a bottle. The freaking complications of being in a tiny car. How much I miss my truck, and I don't miss doing this. Why don't I go through the back door? I don't. I don't know. Shut up. Shut up for everyone that just said that. I don't, honestly, I don't know. I don't know why I always climb through the back seat. Whatever. Anyway, so let's show you what I have to go through to feed this baby. I have to like climb inside it. It's great. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's a bu bu oh. Good baby. And then sit like this for like 20 minutes. <laughs> they want to see. I 
I'm sorry, baby. I had the flash all in your eye. Let's take the flash out. That's better. There's no flash. I don't want a flash. It's too early in the morning for that. Oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. See, it looks like they drink fast, but they really don't. They drink really slow. Oh my god, this is it's almost painful. <laughs> oh, I swear this rain's gonna be the death of me. But the baby did good. Not like too too thirsty this morning. They'll let you know. They'll start like throwing their head back when they don't want no more. So pretty good. A little bit more than half halfway. You wanna try again? You want a little bit more? Probably not. Want a little bit more put? Want some more? Oh, yeah. See, yes I do, you liar. Say, so Felicia, it's just because your arm's tired. You didn't want to do it no more, don't lie. I'll have um, one more feeding before the baby gets home. So yeah, but um, obviously I can't record a lot while I'm driving. All right, that's much better. Now that makes me feel better. There's just this tiny little bit. So I'm gonna go back into the gas station. I'm gonna rinse this out. Um, and then I'm pumping gas. So we're gonna go ahead and stop the little gas thingy and then get on the road. I'm gonna give her some more hay. Um, we just got this. Got this, I don't have much left. I've been trying to like preserve it. And then I just have this little bit left of this stuff. So I'm gonna put some more in there. Oh, look at him, he's like milk drunk. He's like, okay lady, I'm tired now. You're so freaking cute. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go back there. I am like an hour away, but I have like uh, like two hours to spare. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, I made it so that he can't jump into his pouch but so I gotta untie it but um he I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put some blankets and make it all comfy on the bottom then I have the nerve to wonder why car rental places won't rent to me no I'm just kidding I clean everything but I mean I got hay all over the ground <sighs> Yeah, fun, fun, fun. But I'm gonna get this hay out of here because he's been peeing on the bottom. I locked him out of his um, little pouchy thing. So he's been peeing on the ground and he's got this hay on the ground and I don't want him eating pee and hay, you know? Okay, that's a better angle. See, he jumped in his little, little pouch. I'm like, you can go in there because he's not going to let me clean it. He's really, he's honestly such a sweet boy, but um, he's really shy. So if I were to open it and he was running around, he would definitely start, he'll start like jumping around and like trying to jump into the sides of the crate and we don't want any of that. Plan is to take this blanket, have this big blanket, take this blanket, don't want me going in there no more, putting that there, and then taking PP pads, and put it. I'm gonna try to make it flat, like a flat surface. And then taking a PP pad, putting that here over top 
so that if he does pee on it, I can, he's at least not peeing on the blanket. You know what I'm saying? So like this. So uh, he doesn't want to be in there and I don't want him in there because it is gross. So, and then I think I'm going to put his hay and his food in that corner. And then I'm going to just tie that back up so he can't jump back in there, but he's not going to jump in. He's only jumped in there because I'm here. Say right. Hello. Hi, Pooh. Wait, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing. No. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm going to take this food and just put it right there in that corner. Let's scoot him a little bit. Okay, there. Okay, so that, I think that will be good. And then I'll put hay in the corner. And then I'll put hay over there too. Like all in the corner. Oh, that's too much, too much. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, I'm here dropping off this little baby. Why don't you come out of your pouches? Come on. Let me see your cute some face. It's actually really cute where he's going. It's like a huge flower garden place. It's like a little farm, like a flower garden farm. And he's going to be like at the front, like when you pull up and he's going to be hopping around. It's really cute. It's really beautiful. So, so happy. I don't know where he is. But anyways, yeah. So it is a cute little flower garden. And then they got the big farm back there. And they got some llamas up there. So cute. So cute. Hello! I'm Felicia. Hi, how are you? Good. Hey guys. I'm gonna put him in the pen right now, let him get his exercise before we get the week of rain coming up. Oh, yeah. so, Bev, this is Felicia. Hello! Felicia's how are nice you? Time. It's very nice to meet you too. It's beautiful. Um, not one of my longest. It's, I'm just looking for a big you, oh, it's in the car. <laughs> so he's probably going to run into the cages and act a fool yeah. for a sec. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Hello, little goat babies. What's your name, Pooh? I see you. You gonna lick my phone? Can I have a boop? Yeah. Yeah. Go run. Go run. Go run, little guy. <laughs> He's like, um, I just want to stay in my poopy pee pissy pouch. Oh, good job. Hello. What do you think? So this is his space. It's so beautiful. What's? Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, look at the the uh, llama. Curious baby. What do you think, little llama? Oh my God, they're so freaking cute. Hi. Oh, he's peeing. Of course. And poop and say, oh yeah, let me get it out. Look at him. <laughs> He's Catch so him later, fast. Huh? That might be fun catching him later. Oh, that's going to be impossible, really. But you know what I would do? Hang his pee, pee one so he can smell it. His scent, for sure. Hey, babes. At least it's not 105 degrees outside. What do you think? It's much better, isn't it? Oh yeah, he's super healthy. Hello, babes. 
say besides I'm covered in peepins. He jumped actually pretty high. Yeah. Like he gets it. I wasn't expecting that. What do you think of him? What do you think? No name yet. We're, we're trying to figure it out. Oh my god. Give him a kiss. Oh my gosh, stop it. Oops, I'm here vacuuming out the car. So the car rental place can't say shit. All right, all done. What, what animals? Didn't have a kangaroo or anything else in here. Where? Anyways. Now I'm on my way to like the Toronto border over that way to New York, like Buffalo, New York-ish kind of deal. And I'm going to go and pick up a St. Bernard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe my YouTube video. I'm actually kind of having fun documenting these longer videos for you guys. I'm enjoying them. I hope you're enjoying it. If you like it, give it a thumb, 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 thumb. give it a thumb, give it a thumb, thumb. Okay. Anyways, sorry. Give it a thumbs up like and subscribe that would mean the world you guys killed it by the way in my last video i got i think i got like four thousand like new followers and it made my heart like and you guys motivated me to do more but how i delivered this baby the environment where it's going to be staying um the care it's going to be receiving that is what makes my job so worth it and um yeah so happy